Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for August 10th. August 10th is the 222nd day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 223rd in leap years, with 143 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is vox populi. <laughs> vox populi comes to us from Latin. The literal meaning of it is the voice of the people, and it means public opinion. On a personal note, so much of what I see as I go through the list of things that happened on any given day throughout history, so much of it is war, war, and more war. Battles this, defeats that, wars, sinking ships, and so on. Sometimes it's really a challenge to find any little piece of news that's not related to some kind of contention. There's certainly enough of that in everyday life right now, and I just grow weary of it. So today we're going to start in the year 1675, when on August 10th, the foundation stone for the Royal Greenwich Observatory in London was laid. The Musée du Louvre was officially opened in Paris, France on August 10th, 1793. Chile's oldest and most prestigious school, Instituto Nacional, was founded on August 10th, 1813. Its motto is Labor Omnia Vincit, which means work conquers all things. I tend to agree. <laughs> Missouri was admitted as the 24th state on August 10, 1821. On August 10, 1846, the Smithsonian Institution was chartered by the United States Congress after James Smithson donated $500,000. On August 10, 1897, German chemist Felix Hoffmann discovered and improved a way of synthesizing acetyl salicylic acid, better known as aspirin. This is the birthday of a man named Charles Darrow, born August 10, 1889. He's credited with creating the game of Monopoly. Perhaps you've heard of it. <laughs> he lived to the age of 78. This is the birthday of American singer, actor, and businessman Jimmy Dean, born August 10th, 1928. He also founded the Jimmy Dean Food Company, whose little biscuit and sausage things you can find in your refrigerated sections of most grocery stores. He lived to the age of 81. The TV show Candid Camera made its television debut on August 10th, 1948, after having been on radio for a year as candid microphone. <laughs> a day after murdering Sharon Tate and four others, members of Charles Manson's cult killed Lino and Rosemary LaBianca on August 10, 1969. The Society for American Baseball Research was founded in Cooperstown, New York on August 10, 1971. Now, have you ever seen the TV show called America's Most Wanted or heard of an organization called the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children? Well, on August 10th, 1981, the genesis of all that unfolded, or began to unfold. I'm trying to think of a graceful way to describe what happened. Let's just say that it was on that day it was discovered that John Walsh's missing six-year-old son, Adam, was discovered murdered this horrific and tragic event spurred Adam's father, John Walsh, to become an advocate for victims of violent crimes. He started the TV show America's Most Wanted, as well as several political campaigns to help missing and exploited children. The Magellan Space Probe reached Venus on August 10, 1990. On August 10, 1995, Timothy McVeigh and Terry Nichols were indicted for the bombing of the Murrah Federal Building in Oklahoma City. On August 10, 2003, Europe was experiencing a heat wave resulting in the highest temperature ever recorded in the United Kingdom, 101.3 degrees Fahrenheit in Kent, England. All I can say is welcome to Texas, dudes. <laughs> The Okinawa Urban Monorail was opened in Naha, Okinawa on August 10, 2003. And I think that's going to do it for us today. I hope you learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did. I always do. 
And that's why I leave those links in the show notes for you so you can look stuff up and learn it yourself. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with others. As you listen along, feel free to share your opinion in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about what I say. Images are retrieved from Bing Images, either public domain or licensed free to use and share. I think the correct terminology is free to share and use. Our lovely outro music is Divine Life Society by Jesse Gallagher from YouTube Music Library, and there's a link to his channel in the show notes. Thank Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye. This is what happens when you don't clean up your script. Yeah, that's right. changing it up.